Hello everyone, this is Leo from the PC Security Channel, and today we're doing a private evaluation of SANG4. This is the endpoint security solution, and today we'll be carrying out the ransomware test. Since this is our very first video with this product, we're going to figure out how the detection system works and whether or not there are any vulnerabilities from a proactive standpoint. So we're going to test it entirely in default settings. The only setting we have modified is we've changed the PowerShell detection to alert instead of block by default. Now even though the feature itself says that it's only going to block suspicious activities by PowerShell or suspicious scripts, it seems to pretty much block the launching of PowerShell entirely. So we had to use this one minor modification to make sure that we can get our testing scripts to run. So to start things off, since this is a ransomware test, we have a collection of 65 items. These are well-known threats from the last five years. A lot of them have been involved in major attacks that have been in the news lately. For example, Darkseid was behind the United States pipeline attack. Hello Kitty, which we also have in here, was behind the attack on the parent company of Cyberpunk. Again, very recent. Threats like WannaCry, Petya, and the rest. The idea is these are well-known variants, so we expect all of them to be blocked proactively. But we're trying to establish the ground rules, understand how the product works, so we'll put it to a test. And in order to do that, we're going to use our automation tool called Malix. As you can see, simply launching PowerShell gives us a prompt. Even though it says suspicious PowerShell script detected, there's really nothing suspicious. I just launched PowerShell from a shortcut. And as you can see, the parameters show that it is the basic PowerShell in Windows System 32. So just going to go ahead and click Allow. Now we're going to launch our testing script. This is going to go through all of these threats that are currently in a network location. And it's going to actually move one of them to desktop. We're going to do this two different ways. So before we go through the more intensive test, which we do in our typical videos, which will involve executing all of them from network directory, we're actually going to execute them one by one, moving them onto the desktop to give this product an easier time and just to understand if it can at least block these threats with its signatures proactively. The internet is fully connected at this stage, so the cloud engine should also be able to contribute. I would very much expect a full detection in this case. So let's get started. We have our monitoring component running on the top, so you can see what actions are being carried out. As you can see, the first ransomware managed to launch. It wasn't necessarily detected immediately, this was ACO, and it did manage to load MPR DLL, so that's a library that the ransomware is loading. But soon after, I believe, once it got its encryption functions underway, it was detected by likely the behavior shield. And now it's been blocked in quarantine, so we'll just go ahead and click OK. We're just going to classify it as a threat, and we're going to move on. So far, it is a proactive detection of 100%. We're going to remember and quarantine for the rest of the threats, so pretty much getting rid of anything that is detected. And if we move the window over, you can actually see that the files on the desktop are changing as the test is trying to execute each of them separately. So there we have it. The test is now complete, and we do have an overall proactive detection of 100%, even though one was temporarily missed by the proactive protection, ACO, which was allowed to execute, but eventually the behavior blocker clicked in. So overall, it is 100% detection. Let's examine our data on the system in case anything was encrypted or touched. If we open the data, files are safe. Same as the case here, nothing appears to have been encrypted in the pictures folder either.